Welcome to Beyond the Press Release, a production of Gore Call, in which we take the time to speak with small cap executives after they put out important news. With us today, happy to have him back, Bernard Tudial, CEO, HPQ Silicon, HPQ in Canada, HPQFF uh, in the United States. For those new to the story, the renewable energy revolution and the paradigm shift, the unstoppable paradigm shift towards electric vehicles is going to require more critical minerals and metals than ever, and also going to require better processes over the entire battery metals supply chain, including the production of high purity silicon and silicon in general, which hasn't changed over 100 years. 100 years ago, it was expensive, it was dirty, and it still is not like that today. HPQ is changing that because they're cutting edge Canadian producer of high value added silicon products that are sought after by the battery and electric vehicle manufacturers amongst other industries. More than just lip service, over the last few years, they've signed at least seven NDAs with, uh, that we know of with EV manufacturers, battery makers, and other high value material companies. And the recurring theme in all those NDAs, the one-stop manufacturing of high purity, uh, high purity silicon. Two big press releases to talk about. Bernard, welcome back, my friend. Thank you, George. Hey, uh, you're kind of in a stealth mode there for a month because last time we are on was uh, April 4th or 5th. So here it is a month later, but you've been incredibly busy. First press release mm -hmm. I want to talk about because there are two. April mm -hmm. 20th, you announced delivery of the first batch silicon material samples to, the, to a world-leading high-performance mm -hmm. materials company, HPMC. Uh, mm -hmm. how, let's talk about that. How important was it? And then I want to talk about the material that you sent over, but how important was it? Because you, you say it's a very important milestone in potentially becoming one of their foreign silicon powder suppliers. Yes, it's, it's, it is a very important milestone because, you know, they've been, that group have been in contact with me on a regular basis. And like everybody else, you know, it was always they were waiting for me to produce the silicone material from, from the pure vap to get it to them. And, you know, they've been very patient, uh, very interested in, in using our material because of multiple uh, specificity of what we'll, we will be making once we're going to be a commercial scale. So um, it was an opportunity for us. Uh, you know, in February, we started to say we, we were doing a battery initiative, uh, which basically means we're already looking at how to convert uh, uh, 3N, 4N silicone into powders, micro-sized powders for application. Um, and, you know, uh, we thought it would be a, a good opportunity for us to, to demonstrate that we could do it, send the material. And as I said, on February 20th, we know how to source that material. It's not a, as big as an issue as people think. We know how to source it. Now we, we just wanted to know, can we make the, the size specification material they, they like, and then they'll, they'll give us feedback. So that, that's, that's really what it, what it was. It's, it's, they've been very patient with us, and I wanted to reward them for doing this because the fact that they're patient with us demonstrates that we're on the right track because, you know, they, they're waiting for us to make the material, which, which I thought was a very uh, positive thing. And I think it was a very important thing for us to, to demonstrate as a, as a goodwill, a good business development strategy to, to find the material so they can start to work on their hand, what they're trying to, to perfection, and we can work on our hand. But, and to be clear, I want to be clear about something because your mm -hmm. quote says, and we're, now we're going to talk about what you sent to them. The original plan was not to produce any powder samples until we could use the high purity silicon material from our QRR mm -hmm. pilot plan. Mm -hmm. But as our confidence grew regarding the QRR's capacity mm -hmm. to produce 4N plus, uh, we're now focused on building a capability to deliver products to potential clients as soon as possible to gain market share. That second part I want to talk about, but Essentially, you sent material that you didn't make technically yeah. with the QRR. So explain that a little bit. Like, yeah, sure. What it's, did you send and what did okay. the HPMC you know think they're receiving? And I want, I want oh, to talk they, about they, how they're they, happy to receive it. They know exactly what they're receiving. We we contacted them and told them, listen, uh, you know, we won't be able to send you QRR-based material, but in the meantime, we have this opportunity uh where we have you know, much, you know, well, when I say we, I mean, Novasium had uh, higher purity material. We were going to do a, anyway, an equipment test. Okay. So we said, oh, you know, just so that we can make sure that we make the specification you're looking for, 
We'll use that material, do it and ship it for you guys to test. So we'll know basically the grinding part of the material to the specification size that we, we can deliver on that part. And at the end, it's going to be for us to build it. I understand that some people say, well, it's sort of silly not using your own material, but that's completely not, not the reason why we did this. If you think about this, if I limit, well, two things. One of them is we know we're going to make 4M. Okay, it's not even, it's... That's a bold statement. That's awesome. That, no, no it's, it's not even a bold statement. It's just, it's just like if you understand silicone manufacturing the way I'm starting to do it, the way the people I work with, okay, and are associated with us know it, it's not, not that it's not a complicated thing to do, but in the steps that we're implementing, what we said in our February 20th press release, okay, we know how to make 4N right now. Okay? We know how to take 2Ns, make it 4N. We know how to make 3N, make it 4N. We all know how these steps can be done. It's not, it's not a big issue. We also know, based on the results we've published on the QRR, okay, where we made already 99, 99.6, okay, without even, you know, sweating about without it. Without breaking a sweat. And we're not bringing a sweat. That if we make 99.6, I can guarantee you that we know right. how to turn that 99.6 without too much of an effort into 99.96, okay? We know how to get an extra end. 99.99. So, 99.996. So right, right. If we got 99.6, we can. We know how to make it 99.96. Right, right. Okay. So if we get 99.9, then we'll make it 99.99, whatever the number is. So it's 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 a gift. Bottom line is you're confident you can get there. So you wanted the HPMC to get going. In other words, it's almost like well, it's, it's, it's more than just the it's more Send than it just the HP. so you can do your tests. Yes, well, it's it's more than just the HPMC. Think about this. If we if we wait on just us making the material, knowing that we're going to be able to make it, we're, we're wasting time developing right. things that, in parallel. That's what I said, so, yeah. You know, so, so what we're doing is sort of like a flow chart, okay, where you're trying to make sure that at the end, all the elements combine right. together. Because, you know, when, when doing what we're doing, there might be delays, there might be things to move. Uh, there's an opportunity to, to move, and there's going to be a great opportunity for HPQs to move. Uh, I'm not worried at all about what the Scyllas and the Group 14s are doing. Um, I'm happy they're doing it. I'm happy they're making that noise about it. But, you know, we can position ourselves in so many places and, 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 and their value chain and what we're doing. It's, for me, it's, it's not an issue. What's important but they were happy, right? The bottom line is the HPMC was happy. Yeah. To receive it, they're like, okay, thanks for sending oh, this. They, they, we they, they were extremely, the they were extremely happy and grateful that, that, that we did that extra yeah. effort for them. Um, and so, and, and the same thing is going to happen for, for for battery manufacturers as we start working more on, on doing this. This was a specific case, but as we speak, we're working now uh, with suppliers to to start getting a big enough inventory of material. Okay, so we can start. A for us improving the final touching of the material and getting formed. Like I said in my February 20th press release, okay, there's multiple of commercially available steps okay, that can be done. So what we're doing is we're lining all of these steps together. So instead of waiting for the QRR to deliver the good, because we know we're going to do it, might as well for us all do all these steps together. Okay. And then we'll just combine the two process together. And that's really what we're doing. So you know, we're walking and chewing gum at the same time. Let's just yeah. do it. Yeah, you're working, you're working, uh, yeah, at the same time rather than sequentially. Got it. So devil's advocate, though. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't they, if, if that was the case, couldn't they have just gone to get 4N silicon somewhere else all this time? Yes, but they, they, they stuck with us all the time that was giving them delays. You know, it's like a, we announced this in February. When did we announce this? The first, February 2022. So, you, you know, we've been having those ongoing conversations. What happens and what these people want is continuity of material, okay? For doing the testing, it's fine. Well, what HPQ is going to be able to offer is a, a basically consistent product from A to Z. The problem is you can buy three to four N from different suppliers, but every batch is going to be different because it won't, everything will not be made the same. Uh, and I think that's right. one of our, okay. that's one of our business advantage that we have because we don't need to build, build the giga 
size 30,000 metric ton metallurgy grade silicon plant is that we will be able to basically refine ourselves and offer people that are going to need 2,000 to 500, which is basically going to be gigafactories, which is going to be other type of, uh, of people in, in those actually a very guaranteed source complete traceability and complete moving. That's the business plan that we're developing. So in February 20th, we started to say, we're developing the strategy. We're working and doing this. This is what we're implementation, implementing and, you know, showing that we can send some material to, to, to one of our NDA clients is, was, a, was a very good idea. So re read between the lines, and mm -hmm. uh, this is what I'm reading. It sounds like the HPMC, the high performance material company, has been in, in pretty regular contact with us and uh, have oh, they, they, carried <laughs> on. Like it seems like it's a, it's a, it's a good relationship. This is uh they've been patient waiting for specifically yes. for, for Silicon from the QRR and they're still waiting for it, even though they're going to start their tests on the Novasium uh, sample. Yeah. But yeah, should we take that as a really good sign that you've got a HPMC, a high performance materials company mm -hmm. that is, you know, patiently and really, almost seems like anxiously waiting for, for you guys I'm, to get there. I'm, I'm sort of laughing because at, at some point, my conversation with them sounded like the one I'm having with my investors. I know we're moving forward, but some oh, others delayed. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I was, I was so Okay, but that's a so great happy. sign, though. I mean, we're in kidding it's, around, it's, but that, it, that it's should a be great. I was so happy when I, when I went to them, and, and you have to understand, culturally speaking, they're, they're not North, North American. Okay, so culturally speaking, all those issues are, are very important. So when, when I went to them and I said, I'm willing to offer this, the first reaction was, okay. But suddenly they got they, they got very excited, very excited with it. And they said, okay. Nice. Fine. Nice. Uh, so then let's move on to the next part of the quote, um, where you say it's an important milestone because now I want to hop to this. Um, because the HVMC will share crucial data on the samples mm -hmm. and industry feedback as we work with them to potentially become one of their 4N plus silicon powder suppliers. Mm -hmm. So the, the relationship is strength to the point that you, do you have a great deal of confidence that if everything goes well and you're able to produce it using the QRR that you, that HPQ should become one of their, one of their suppliers? Yes, because uh, the discussion we had, uh, this was always a funny discussion we had is at the beginning, you know, it was beginning was a question of pricing. And I said, oh, we can make it for this price. And I said, oh, if you guys can make it for this price, we really want what you're looking for. Um, and so we, we know we can make it within that price. At the beginning, it was a price, and then it's going to be more, more, more of a, a quality issues and moving forward and developing a relationship. You know, so business relationships are not, it's not done you know, like this. It's, you know, it's, it takes time, especially... Uh -huh. In, in, in this type of industry. But the advantage with silicon as a material is that there is no big differentiation between silicone manufacturer A, B, and C. Now, people might say, well, it's sort of like silly to say this, but in reality, because we have so many downstream advantages, okay, it will be easy once we meet the qualification of the client for them to substitute to us because we will be able to offer them something much more stable. Uh, I've had a lot of conversation with people in the industries and, um, you know, even some, some conversation with, with a senior executive in competing companies or, and, or ex senior executive in, 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 uh, in competitors uh, that are now retired and, you know, out, outside of any NDAs. And all of them seems to agree that we have the right business strategy. So we have, we have really unique strength that are going to position ourselves uh, very, very well going forward. Does this interaction with the HPMC give you even more confidence that HPQ is one of the few, if not one of the only uh, potential producers, you know, stable, consistent, uh, producers of high purity silicon that will meet the requirements of, of partners like this? We believe that we are really uniquely positioned to meet that goal as the industry is going to expand. Okay. And we're going to have the flexibility that the big players don't have. And that's been confirmed to me by, uh, by uh, many people in the industry.
By the way, offside uh, to kind of side question, but if and when hopefully you get to that stage, you become a, sil a foreign silicon powder supplier and off running. Will we know the identity of the high performance material company one day, or that will, or that forever remain a secret because you don't want to give away your customer name? We I don't. We, we don't want to give away our customer. We don't want them also to be harassed by investors trying thinking they're doing DD, which I've known to, to happen. Uh, actually, I can relate to this because the guys, when they were at Apollo, were saying sometimes they were getting funny questions from people out of nowhere. So, so unfortunately, we keep what we do to ourselves. We have the ability to demonstrate to any regulators that wants to ask the question, or in the case of DD, we can put the information in the in a in yeah, a vault, no one's known just due to the fact that this isn't a phantom. <laughs> this isn't a phantom uh HPMC. I was just curious as to whether it might no, one, no. one day. But, hey, if, if they're if their dollars show up on the income statement, I think shareholders will all be happy with that. Uh almost just as just as much, if not more. So all right, great clarification on that. And I thought that was a great press release. And then today, mm -hmm. um, I guess this press release today supports that press release with the HPMC, which is further validation uh, of the process and, and moving forward. Uh, so in today's news, you made three interesting points about the progress made to date. Uh, mm -hmm. So all good said and done, uh, mm -hmm. but at the end, you still don't have a poor. Isn't that the big issue? Well, no. <laughs> That's that, uh, how, can, how, how can I explain it? It is important. The poor is important for one thing. Okay, it's gonna be a fun video to watch. That's it. That's it. It's gonna be a fun freaking video to watch. You see the silicone coming out. You're gonna see sparkles. It's gonna look cool. Okay, um, it's a milestone that we're gonna be reaching and moving forward. We know we're gonna attain it. Okay, uh, we've done all the step required to it. Okay, and then there was a stupid electric grill so after you know after we finish swearing because of that event because it's it's really one of those it's 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 completely one of those unknown unknown okay it's well that's what this all that's there's no immaculate r d you've already yeah there's no it. well there's no immaculate r d but th this one was a completely like, okay well let's let's think i'm wrong it's there's a level of frustration but what i've learned in in, in r d is there's always very good news coming out of this. And the very good news is the system works, okay? It produced a massive, well, massive for the size of the reactor, but there was a big liquid silicone bath ready to be poured, all right? Uh, but, you know, if once you finish the, the, the processes, uh, there's, a, there's a special f phase where you got to prepare the liquid for the pour. And it's just at that moment, this, the thing blew up. If, you know, if, if a pour is such a big issue, we could actually even manufacture one, just melt some silicone into it, get it to pour out. That's, that's not what we're looking for, okay? It's, we are going to get there. We're moving every one of the steps. This was an unknown unknown that happened. You know, unfortunately, as a lot of people says, why does this shit always happen to you? What can I say? No, it's, that no, at all. People should know that happens all the time. I mean, that happens all the Agoracom time. Agoracom yes. is incorporating all this AI and stuff, and it's nowhere near the complexity of what you're doing. And we run into glitches, and we yeah. run into some stuff. So you know, it, it's no matter what when you're doing new things, it hasn't. We're still on track. We're still going to accomplish. We're, but you know, well, we, sometimes we, we, you run to hiccup, and you got to just. It, you gotta it, if you look at the around. press release, we're saying, okay. Everything that we had to do on the test series one is done. Okay. So we've progressed the test series twos, even though we didn't have the poor. So that tells us how confident we are where we are. We're moving forward. We're not going to be, you know, it's like, I believe the plan for the next test is going to be 36% increase in the amount of silicone done in one cycle before we pull. Okay. So this time we did four. Uh, I think next one we're going to do six. So we're coming closer to the efficiency of the machine start to pour and do these things. Second thing is, we know we already make 2N material with this. So we're pretty excited about that material. We, we know we make 2N 99.6 and above. Okay, we'll get the confirmation. And you said, which is the best commercially available purity in mm. the market. Yep. You want to expand on that a little bit? Well, yeah, it's not, there. there's a series of grade 
you sell silicone. I think 553 is 98.5, which is what you use in aluminum strengthening. Often that's the benchmark used for pricing silicone. Then you go uh, different value depending on the impurities into it. And when you get to 99.6, depending on the impurity, you get what's called a 2.2202 purity. Okay. And that sells for a different price. There's about 35 to 40% price differentiation between the two. And the reason why I know it's because we bought some of that material um, for a test that we did in, in, in Europe. And we, we converted that to almost four in purity. So. so are you happy with how the, the so Sears won? Because mm -hmm. we had, everyone will recall, now new investors won't recall this, but you told the market that we're going to go through three series of tests. Mm -hmm. This first one is essentially done. Yeah. You did five tests inside of series one. Mm -hmm. Now you've got series two coming. That mm -hmm. will be to improve yield. And then mm -hmm. series three uh, will be to get the final purity needed for battery manufacturers. How long ballpark do you estimate each series to take series two and series three? We're going, to, we're, we're going to sit down at the end of June. I, ho I hope to be pretty close to having done of all those issues. But we've done, basically, we now have enough material, which is what I'm looking for, and which is what I've said also in my presentation. We have enough material now, data point, and we're going to have more data point till the end of June to start saying, okay, building the first commercial plant, let's go through the numbers seriously. Because there's a, there's a difference between when you start. So for me, the, that's the gate point. Like, as I said, the purity is not an issue. We know. Oh, sorry, series two and series three. Are you saying is going to be done by the end of June? That, is, of that June? is that that is the goal. Okay. But the end of June, things don't stop. Okay, because then we entered into, um, and and we 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 showed that when we did the Beyond the Deck. You know, we enter into a phase where we start getting the numbers. We're going to start more crunching out the numbers for the Gen Four. So we're going to use the system to crunch the numbers for the Gen Four and produce some materials for our battery initiative. So uh, that's that's the next step. It's, with, with, it's exactly what we said we, we've done. You know, so it's within the timeline we presented, the indicative timeline we, we presented. It's part of, of our you know, development strategies using the, you know, just, just to fine tune everything as we move forward. By the way, I forgot to ask you an ETA question, go back to H HPMC. What kind of testing time will they need with the 4N uh sample that you provided them do you know how long no I, a year I, a month a week a day like you know i don't I, I i didn't ask i was happy to have them they're going to come back to me and then we're going to i go you know as soon as i have my own forehand i'll say okay i have my own forehand we're going to be able to do it we're going to have more material okay yeah i just want to ask you just to give everyone a sense mm -hmm. of maybe they just you might be able to give a sense in today's press release you said we'll send some of the material to an outside lab for purity testing yeah, well, but basically, it's like purity testing is a ICP type of analysis. It's not something that you can do <laughs> in lab house. You know, eventually we'll be able to do laser guided material to to analyze the the purity of the material. But at this stage, we need outside purity specification to to, to show all the the specification of purity. So we need we need that outside lab outside lab validation that's you know that's, that's the right you know that's a world re renowned recognized laboratories doing the work for us that, that's what we need at this stage and, and but, you want that third party validation anyways yeah. right so no right. basically questions. you know it's, it's it's easier to have that that material what period are you expecting sending it for you know when you send it to 99 the same one 99.6 probably because we haven't done anything really for, for purity sakes. We're not really, you know, we're, there's a lot of things we're doing. There's a lot of things we can do to improve the purity of the material, but we're, we're just more focused on, we were just focused on creating a massive silicone, liquid silicone bath to make sure, you know, it poured out of the reactors and, and those issues. You know, the, my biggest frustration with the pour, the fact the pour isn't there, it's just that it takes a little bit longer between tests. Once we start pouring, you know, the, the timeline between tests is going to be shorter, okay? Like we stopped the test and I think I went back to the plant on Monday and it was still too hot to open it. Because, you know, those machines go to very high temperature. So once we have the silicone pour, at least, you know, that heat will be removed and then eventually we'll be reusing the same heat to move forward. That's why our tests sometimes take long because we got to bring the machine to the right operating temperature 
if you don't have, don't have a silicon pore, then you gotta cool it down. So that's what you know. That's what make the test cycle longer. So now I think I believe that you know the way we have the machine running, we can do uh, one test every two weeks, and every, maybe get, every two weeks. Right. And you know, once we once we get the pore, maybe it'll be once a week. But uh, you know, give God's ourselves some. So some safety from margin, and that's it. We got some questions from shareholders because I kind of mm -hmm. posted that we'd be doing this interview. Yeah, but you uh, forgot you forgot one thing. What's that? You didn't ask me about the material we sent to Novasium. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry, because I, 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 I figured we could probably tell them. I'm writing notes here. I'm, let's, let's talk about the material you know, it's, it's time you stop using Post-it. Um, no, because that's that's also something very, very interesting. And, and, you know, a little tidbit of information we put there. We're going to turn you know, SI and SIOX. Um, and what's really being used in, in the, the market right now for battery material is SIOX. So we've gotten every one of the commercially available technologies to, to make our micron size SI powder. Okay. And you sent these silicon chunks, or you're going to send these? Oh, we're going to send those silicon chunks. As I told you, the machine is hot. You got to yeah. you know, send it to them, and they'll, they'll they'll make the material. But we have capacity at Novasium to convert to 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 to, to oxidize um, silicon to make it turn convert S, SI powders into SIOX. So we're going to be doing some first tests converting this because that's that's the last technology that we you know, that we need to to really uh, control. And then we're going to have some very good battery grade material. I believe so. Yeah. To be clear, the 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 the, the, the excerpt from the press release says send silicon chunks to Novation for further evaluation as battery material, specifically yeah. micron size SI and SIOX powders. Yep. Um, yeah, that's that's when that's, all gets, of, ahead, that's all that's all part of the November uh, the February twentieth press release. It's all part of the battery initiative. When Novasium gets the chunks. Mm -hmm. Any idea how long they're going to take to evaluate? No, I'll do, I'll double check with them once they get it. You know, we'll have to use some 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 grinder maybe organize it, do it. But you know, everything is a bit long because you're going to send it to an outside laboratories to do battery tests, battery materials, and, and those type of issues. So, but bottom that, line, and, and and that's why I'm, that's why I'm following that strategy. If, if I just wait on one thing. Because everything takes time, I better have like multiple parallel streams at the same time. Yeah, that explains your strategy earlier of what you said mm -hmm. to the HPMC, get them going at the same time so that you're not just waiting. Concurrent versus consecutive, which yeah. makes a lot of sense to do stuff concurrent. Uh, let's move on to some of the questions here because yeah. we posted it and we said, hey, if you got some questions, ask Bernard. So we had four questions that came in, which is cool. This isn't technically a Q&A, but it's always good to have them uh, contribute. So Matt Boy would love an update or any information outside of a press release that can be said regarding the fume silica pilot plant. How have the projects in Europe been progressing and any information regarding potential partnerships or European production potential? Well, you, I, I think I spoke in another question. It was all asking the fume silica or the, the other question were, were, were like two questions into it. Well, okay. First was would love an update or information on the fume silica pilot plant. Okay, that will have to go through in, through a press release, and um, I have my I, I I have some I I can't say more than this, but you know, at this time, if I if, if the question if we're not asking me the question, we put my meme, which is a patient young Padawan, uh, on you know we're May fourth, may the force be with you. I thought that would have been a good one, but yeah, unfortunately, we're doing it here. So that one for this. <laughs> You Star Wars nerd. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm sort of a small one. Um, the second question was... How have the talks in Europe... And by the way, I, I admit to actually not understanding this question, or maybe it's because of late in the day. How have the talks in Europe... What talks? Been progressing and any information regarding potential partnerships or European production potential? Okay, that is... They're progressing well. Okay, we're you know you under you have to understand it. You have to introduce yourself. You have to. So this is why we have our 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 our, our marketing team there doing some work and introducing us. Um, they're progressing and they're progressing very well. We're now continuing to follow up discussion. Now, can I give any timeline of what things are going on? No, but Europe is going to be a massive market for multiple reasons. Uh, we think we have a great advantage there. So it's I can't give more specific than, than things are going well. 
Uh, Janiman says, hello, Bernard. Uh, you speak of 2N, 2N plus. Is 4N no longer a priority? But I think we answered that question. I, th I think we answered. I, I, I understand. Right. Okay. 2N is a massive market. It's a 3.8 million uh, ton per year market. Okay. It's also one where there's a deficit. And it's also the one that's the, the two end purity is the feedstock to make polysilicone, silicones. Uh, so there is a huge demand into this. And according to CRU, this demand can only be met with new plants being built. This is where what we do is incredibly opportunistic. So if there's anything I wanna say in this message to people, Okay, when I talk about 2N, that is sort of like the, that's a baseline market for us that we can be very competitive in. Yeah, like we're there, add into, we're there right now. Then you add into a higher we're value right market. Huh? We're there right now. We're, th we're there right now. We're, 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 we're making that material right now. So we're already there, okay? So, you know, eventually once we, once we start in, in, in July, the, the, the calculation, we could actually design business plan for building traditional plan for, for somebody that wants, to, that wants to use it, okay? That's the beauty of where the QRR is right now. That's the beauty of what we've announced, okay? There is, if you want to look... look look at this into it, we've basically ring fence, okay? The worst case scenario in HPQ's case is that we can be the producer of silicone and we're using new technique. And as we wrote in our NDAs, we bought a patent from Pyro about low carbon and I can't wait to be able to talk more about this. Um, and that's also gonna give us competitive advantage. So, ah. Uh, the, the message where I speak more about 2N, this is our sort of like, um, that's the worst case scenario is already great. The battery is a cherry on top. Big, yeah, you've it's said a massive you cherry on top. HP, HPQ silicon has been de-risked, essentially. It's on the silicone size manufacturing, the risk factors have been reduced, okay? And there is a base case market business plan for what we're doing. All right. Now, as we said, because of the size of the reactors we're building, we're perfectly um, we're going to be perfectly focused to go more specifically after a high value end product. OK, of course. So, yeah, of course, if you put a competition between me and Ferro Globe. They can do the volume for the two ends. But if you want a two end plus with X, Y, Z or a three end, we're perfectly positioned because they can't do it. That's uh, that's going to be music to shareholder ears. Uh, and then, gentlemen, a second question: <clears throat> the electrical malfunction at the pore is that a question of overheating because of not enough thermally thermal insulation, and is it solved? Pretty smart question. I don't know what that means in terms of not enough thermal insulation. But, okay, uh, I will not get into details. Okay, but when I said it was an unknown unknown. Okay, it was really an unknown unknown. It has nothing to do with what we said. It was literally something that surprised everybody, and I think we understood where it is. It's it's it's, it's fixed. It's, there's not an issue. It has nothing to do with the reactor. It has nothing to do with the power supply. It had to do with a computer. All right. So it didn't have to do with you trying to add a little slice of pizza in there to get warmed up at the same time. Kill two birds with one stone, and you messed it up. Wasn't you? Don't want to get too close to that thing. That's that. <laughs> yeah, I would think so at those temperatures. It would. I th I think liquid silicone when it pour would cook a pizza in one nanosecond. Ah, it's a Game of Thrones scene for everyone who's watched Game of Thrones season one. The the, the gold pour scene at the at the end of season one. Cattleman, hi Bernard. Yeah. Which hi. form of partnership regarding the commercialization of the Gen Four PureVap? are on the table in the discussions with potential interested parties? Uh, I think that's a little bit too early. I've always said that. I'm always very cautious about this. And, and I, will, I will explain why. If HPQ were to be starting those conversations with other people, they would have the big side of the stick in the negotiation. As I continue to develop and advance the technologies, there will be a position where there will be an equivalence and hopefully I will be in a position of strength. You get more leverage. More leverage. So what we're doing is we're showing what we're doing to many people. 
Okay. We know, we know from what it is that every one of the competitor or the competitors are watching what we're doing. Okay. Um, I can even tell you, and one of the reasons why is because we've been the one doing the most Google, uh, mobile, most vocal about silicone metal. So if you do a Google search on silicone metal, you'll get HPQ. So okay. we're, we're, we're really there, as opposed to my competitor, which are big, well, don't want to be mean, big old dinosaur that, you know. They're not as fast on their feet or an agile. So hey, look, uh, ChatGPT has shown us one thing. That big old Google, who everyone thought was untouchable, is now potentially at risk with the new technology, the new process on the block, right? We've seen this in technology for time eternal. The BlackBerry mm -hmm. that people swore they would never let go lost to Apple and Samsung. So I don't think it's bad of you to say that. I mean, the, if, if no, it's, it's, it's old so, technology it's, 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 risk that, yeah. right? Yeah, and it's always something I've noticed. It's like... It, it, you know, I'm a large shareholder in HPQ, and you know, my goal is not to uh, get that taken away because I end up doing a deal that it, that it, that that you no, know, a deal that would have short-term return for investors, but could kill the company. Yeah, you, you could take the safe route out and get a deal done with George Com right now, but because you're earlier, you're not quite there where you want to be. I'm gonna have more leverage, get better terms. You become less profitable, and I, I can look dictate. at look at most of the technology companies that that have developed. I've often made that mistake, other than being able to be you know true to true to their core going moving forward. Other thing that HPQ does to de-risk ourselves is we're talking you know we're talking about the, the QRR right now. We're talking about that silicon side of the business, but there's more in HPQ than this. There is the uh, fume silica, which that is also is moving is very very exciting. I think I think as you know, as I said in, in our presentation, I think it's an opportunity to be bigger. Um, and there is what the Novation guys are doing uh, that are also groundbreaking. So you've got the reason to be patient. That's the yeah. bottom line. Yeah, but you I got, got the reason to be patient, but also I got the reason to to to, to issue. News that will excite people. Because there's a difference between patient means, you know, I'm not doing anything, I don't really care, and, and we have things moving. The issue when you have a few, the issue when you only have one, only have one thing is that everything is dependent on that one thing. Um, and sometimes there's delay in that one thing, and that doesn't work. Now, I think I'm getting closer to a position where I'm going to have more than, you know, two things. If, if you think about it, by next year we'll have the fume silica project will be where the QRR is now. And there we have stated that we have a, an incredible green advantage into it, which is going to become even bigger. So, Last question from Cattleman. With regards to profit creation, what forms of partnership would best maximize the value of HPQ? Profit. Well, They could be, you know, it's to, to HPQ or HPQ shareholders is always the interesting question. Uh, is that the same? One the same? I mean, what's best for HPQ? Well, no, actually, actually, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes not the same. Sometimes for the company, you know, for the company for sake and, and, and the shareholders, it, 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 it might be two different things. <laughs> look, look at what happened to all the banks in the US. It wasn't very good for the shareholders, but the institution survived. Got it. Uh, yeah. But I'm not saying that we're in the same, you know, token. Place. Yeah, no, don't mix I them. Sure into hope the, not, that, buddy. That was the, that was that was just the point. But we were just having that discussion about you know differentiation between the two. Um, well, there's different ways. You know, they could be they could be a, a a complete buyout, partial buyout, partnership for a technology, licensing of one technology that we're developing. Uh, I love the I love the idea of licensing. Yeah, it, it, all it, over it, the it place. Be, you know, we, we, we could start licensing QRR reactors in areas where we have the, the patent protection, but you know, might not be an area where it's economically interesting for us to, to work. Um, so we have all those options. You know, the optionalities for us are basically like uh, there's multiple of them. Um, what we are as an RD company slash going toward commercialization, it's a bit like a uh, a bio, biotech company. 
Okay, we have specific threshold that we're passing that increase the value of the technologies. And as the value of the technology gets to be more proven, then the valuation moves forward. Um, and that, that's really what it is. I think it's just that, that, that people have to understand that and we have to explain it a bit better that as we reach those thresholds, because what we're doing right now is, is we're advancing the threshold in the QRR. Uh, we're doing the same thing in the fume silica, we'll just be more, more discreet about it because we're talking more about the QR. We're doing the same thing with uh, uh, the hydrogen project that we're working with, 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 uh, with Novacian, because all, these, all things are moving forward. Yeah, in, 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 in layman's terms, for people to understand, it's like an FDA clinical trial, a new drug. Exactly. As you move through efficacy and then phase one and then phase two, the valuation starts to really accelerate. And, and you're, you're yeah, but you're it, I will phases. say, I will say in, in, in our case, what differentiates us is that the uh, in biomed, even if you advance, there could be an, something that happens which render all the work you've done worthless. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, okay. Yeah, for, in, for our, sure. in, in our case, the fact that we can make 2N for just for that QRR technology. Already and and I'm gonna say like I know we're gonna we can make four and there, there's not even yeah. an issue for us. Yeah, and that's the great part. You know, we've got a business locked in. If we absolutely had to do it, we we can get mm -hmm. out there and start doing it. But now it's let's spend a little more time see if we can go for what nobody else has. Yeah. It makes sense. Finally, Renaissance. This morning, both both Goldfields made a press release saying that they acquired 21 prospective phosphate properties. They're saying that in addition to its use in agriculture, it's also a key component uh, for lithium iron phosphate batteries. Is HPQ looking to developing a tech to add phosphate to its portfolio? So in other words, is there any links between Bose going into phosphate and HPQ developing technologies for the battery industry? Nope. HPQ is a large shareholder of, uh, of Bose and we, uh, we wish him well in this regard. But we have enough on our plate right now with, uh, with what we're developing, um, and we're very we're very advanced in what we're doing. So, they're, they're, I'm I'm very happy for both, and they can move forward. But it, there's there is no synergy in this case about between HPQ and and both, other than you know. <laughs> The management as both has, has seen us struggle at HPQ how to get it done, so then they might have a bit of expertise. All right, no tie there. That is it for the questions. Any last words from you, Bernard? Because uh, we have kind of been in stealth mode for a month and it sounds like it's going to be on, we're not going to go through another month of stealth mode. So we'll have you back, but anything we missed or any last words from you? No, it, 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 the message I want people to get out of this is that we are moving forward, okay? We're much more advanced than we've ever been. Um, we've de-risked a project much more than people can, can even think of. Uh, I can tell you that many people in the industry didn't believe we would get here. I, I just want people to get it, to understand what we've accomplished. When I, you know, when I say these words about what we've accomplished, the Gen 3 is a 2,500% scaling up of the Gen 2 machine. And we've gotten it to work. That is a technological accomplishment that is massive. It's unfortunate that we don't seem to be getting the recognition for having done this uh, in the marketplace. We're getting it from technical people. We're getting it from, I'm getting it from a lot of other people, but, but that's just the reality. And um, you know, that is what, that's what HPQ is doing. We're gonna keep moving doing that. Thanks for joining us, Bernard. Can't wait to have you back, my friend. Thanks a lot for taking the time to do this. Thank you. Stay right at home. You've been watching or been listening by podcast on Spotify, Google, Apple, or your favorite podcast platform. To Bernard Turiel, CEO of HPQ Silicon. If you want to do more due diligence because you know the story, get the company's profile page on Agoracom, and then, or otherwise, get over the HPQ Silicon website, your deep dive due diligence. Thanks for joining us. Have a great day. See you next time. Hey guys, this video is over, but don't forget to help your company by liking it and even leaving a comment below. And then don't forget to help yourself by subscribing to our channel and never missing another great Agoracom small cap video.